hello everyone and welcome back to the glam life and today I have another wig look for you and in case you're wondering yes I have done this wig look before but I did not like that other video so I got rid of it and decided to redo it so the wig today is Lakani by Vanessa and here's the tag and I have this one here in a 1B let me turn off the light okay there it is this one here is in a 1B there's how she looks on the model. Excuse the camera, it's trying to autofocus. But anyway, about this wig, there are two combs. One in the front, there's also another one in the back. There are no adjustable straps, but this one fits securely, so there's really no need for that. I do, though, um, use the bobby pins on the side just for some added security. So I will get into, well before I get into the things I like, I will say this one here is, looks like a replica of the Sensational HZ7038, yes that's the number. The same wave pattern in the same length, it's, it's amazing how identical these look. But anyway, I'll get into some of the things that I like about this wig. What I like about this one is the texture. As you can see, the waves, or the pattern of the wig, the texture, whatever, are waves. And I like that a lot, because I think that it looks very natural. It looks just like a braid out. Something else I like about this wig is the length. It's just below the shoulders. I think the length is very realistic on me, because this is about the same length as my own hair. And this wig also gets better with time, and what I mean by that I will explain when I get into the cons. So, speaking of the cons, things I do not like about this wig are when I took it out of the package initially, it was kind of stiff. And what I tried to do to help with that is I soaked it in a mix of fabric softener and water for about an hour. And that did help some. Um, but over time, it actually gotten softer I've been wearing this one for about eight days straight and I guess just wearing it out has maybe worn off some of the um, coating or whatever that they put on these synthetic wigs so that's a plus I guess something else are uh, it's a little bit shiny when I took it out the packaging um, what I did to help with that is I soaked it in a mixture of vinegar and apple cider apple cider vinegar and water for about an hour and that did help with some of the shine and then I used some baby powder um, the day that the first day that I wore it to help but as I said it gets better with time the shine decreases significantly with time I've just been wearing this for about eight days and as you can see it's not shiny I haven't had the lights on and it's not reflecting the lights which is good another thing about this wig is it sheds a lot when I just tried it on straight out of the packaging they were shedding and there was also a tad bit of hair like a small chunk of hair that had shed that I found on the floor yesterday that's not good so I don't expect this one to last too long because of that and also I believe that they put some glue or something on the ends to keep them together and you can kind of see the glue I don't know if maybe it's too bright because I got the lights on you really can't tell I'm not that close but the glue is visible it's this white hard glue and it's not all over the wig but it's in some places and it is noticeable to me so I'm sure it's maybe noticeable to others so I'm probably gonna shampoo this one a couple more times to help get rid of some of that glue if possible so I will show you how I blended this with my hair now at first what I did was I did braids I just braided the front of my own hair and then took the braids out in the morning and yes I know my hair is not as sleek and shiny as the wig but I really don't care about that because um, I don't flat iron my hair to blend with these wigs just because I feel like that's some unnecessary heat and my edges were laid down a lot better yesterday but I didn't put any gel on the edges last night which I probably should have and I will tonight just to make them smoother and make them lay better. Um, another way I found that I could blend this wig is using some Bantu knots and that's what I have right now. Um, I took a 
two inch by one inch section and then I did about five knots. There's four right here and then there's one more right here. And as you can see, the knots when you turn into waves, you just gotta kinda pull them a little bit. But this is my own hair right here. And as you can see, it's pretty much the same wave pattern as the wig. I just need to stretch this one out a little bit more probably, but it's pretty close. So, let's see if I can move this flower out of the way and show you. Yeah, it's hard to do this looking in the camera because everything is opposite of what it's supposed to be. I guess I could take the flower out. But anyway, there's my knots. Right there. So, speaking of this flower, this is something that I made myself. I may do a video on how to make this, but I'm not quite sure yet. But anyway, this is Lacani, a half wig, or Laconi, I'm not sure how you say it, a half wig by Vanessa. This one here is in 1B. It's a nice shoulder length wig. Oh, speaking of that, let me show you the sides and the back so you can get an idea of the length. Side view. Back. Other side. Falls just below the shoulders, as you can see. So if you have any questions, comments, if you think this could look better, if there's something I could do to make it look better, please be sure to let me know below and thank you so much for watching.